Well, with me here, I have my first guest um, in studio. Uh, here is Mbonge Matata and Grace Wavinia from Flip Designs. Karibuni sana and Happy New Year to you. Thank Happy you. New Year. Happy New Year. Yes, to hope you had a good time crossing over the year. Yeah, of course we did. <laughs> Great. Yeah. All right. Well, we want to talk about how to make 2020 decor trends um, more livable. Because I don't know about you guys, but sometimes we see these things on magazines or, you know, online sites like Pinterest and websites. <laughs> and they look cool, but they look cool from a distance. <laughs> and trying to translate them into our spaces seems a bit more challenging. Um, and so for those of you who are already thinking about redecorating your house for the new year, or maybe it's just your room and you're looking at what's trendy um there are some things that maybe you want to include in your design and others that maybe these guys will say hey wekelea bricks wekelea bricks <laughs> <laughs> um so very quickly maybe you guys can give us a quick overview of what you think will be the biggest trends this year all right first of all thank you for having us once again mm -hmm. now uh for 2020 the 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 design trend Seriously, it would be all about nature. Hmm. It, it's going to be all about uh, what we, we can be able to relate with the nature. Mm -hmm. Say, for example, the forest, uh, the earth. Yeah. So I think like uh, most of what, what's going to be done like in design, you can be able to relate. So it's something that you're going to be able to like, do easily mm -hmm. without any hassle. Okay. Yeah. So when you say like nature and relating it to nature, mm -hmm. is that about like bringing in the forest into our houses <laughs> or now the color scheme is green? Am I, we should uh, just adopt this more like rustic feel. W what does that mean? Uh, I think what it means is the plantscaping, mm -hmm. which is one where you involve the plants into your homes, the creepers, the shrubs or the cactus. They make a huge difference right. for this year. There will be a huge, huge difference because it's, there's a global warming yeah. and there's the movement for trying to save the earth. Right. So I think it's high time people really, really concentrate on people and think, and it gives people a responsibility to take care of a plant. Mm -hmm. It feels good. I have a plant that I think so far has been alive nine months. It was actually a guest of Full Circle with Joyce that gave me the plant. Oh, I think nice. in February. I'm very proud of myself. It's growing <laughs> and it's beautiful and it has made it to 2020, you guys. <laughs> um, but uh, it's this, I mean, there's just a way that plants and greenery within a home space really liven up the place and yeah. they clean the air and it just sure gives this feeling of mm. freshness, right? Yeah. yeah. Actually, uh, when you talk about nature, uh, the first thing that comes to mind is relaxation. Because mm -hmm. uh, first things, when I ask you, when you go uh, like lay under a tree, you lay on the grass, right? Mm -hmm. All that nature, what comes to your mind? You're relaxed. Peace. Yeah, at Tranquility. peace. Boosting Tranquility. Yeah. And the way the economy and everything has been, yeah. I think everybody really wants such kind of peace in their life. Yeah? Right. So I think more of it is bringing the nature indoors yeah yeah especially because of all these high rises yeah. people are living exactly. in i mean the parks are getting smaller and sure. smaller and smaller the sunlight is being felt less and yes. less and less yes and so whatever you can do i guess to bring in that life into your space do it sure mm -hmm. sure thing mm -hmm. so it will also come down to colors yeah uh you'll find out like uh when you look at the trend this year most of it will go uh into more of greens navy blues mm -hmm. uh some dusty pink Mm -hmm. You get mm -hmm. so it will be more like uh, it will be more of of the nature kind of feel, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Before we even dive into like colors and patterns, mm -hmm. it's very important for people to understand that there's both indoor plants and then there's outdoor plants, and it's very important to make sure you have the right one if you're trying to have it inside your house. Sure <laughs> thing. <laughs> At any plant in Yumba, it will die yeah. Yeah. and it will not do well. Because yeah. um, indoor plants are supposed to be far less hassle to yeah. take care of. Yes. Sure thing. Because mm -hmm. now, uh, first of all, you, when you look at the indoor plants, they, most of them, they don't require a lot of sunlight. Yeah. And most of them that require sunlight, yeah. Most of them are put like next to the window. Right. And here we have some images actually. Yeah, yeah. actually this, I can see a palm. This could be indoors or like a, you can see a what? A palm. 
a palm tree. Oh yes, a palm tree. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, also I can uh, I can see a spider plant. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A spider plant is which one? Uh, the one uh, running on on the far right. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. You can also be able to like. Uh, is this like a veranda? Or is this inside some? No, this house? is inside. With this that green one, like coming down on the wall. Yes. yes. But you don't get like doodos and things. No. no. <laughs> they are, they are they're maintained. Meant, you have they to maintain it. Yeah. You just need to spray. The water has some pest control. Okay. So you just spray for it to look green every time and not to look dusty again. Okay. So you just spray, looks green, no pest. Okay. Yeah, you just need to control it. All right. So yeah. that's an important trend. And I, I think even as far as the seat covers, mm -hmm. looking at the colors that you were saying there, yeah. as we dive into that now, mm -hmm. lo there's lots of green. You can see like, um, I don't know what color green that would be. Um, but then there's a lighter green as well. Yeah. Um, and then they've blocked it with some like black and white. Mm -hmm. Some black and white. Yeah. yeah. Actually, uh, again, black and white is coming back to trend again. Black and white is? Mm. 2020, this is the year for black and white. And you'll find out like uh, most of the most of the, the designs that are, you're going to see with black and white, they'll have, you'll have to break them with, say, some animal animal print okay yeah and the marbles and marble. some of the marbles okay yeah, yeah 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 yeah. but animal print that can get tacky really easily i know <laughs> grace um what are the do's and the don'ts as far as animal print is concerned overdoing many animal prints someone will have cheetah leopard and snake all together you're not trying to put a uh Animal zoo. zoo in your house. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you want to make it a so zoo. So if, if you want to maintain, you know, the, the animal prints, they have a classy look. That's why the top designers like Versace and all that normally have the animal print. Mm -hmm. So if you have to decide to go for like the zebra, which is the black and white, yeah, you have to maintain a subtle or neutral house. You won't have to go for red. You, sp mm -hmm. you, you splash all over again to and, yeah. yeah exactly see like fact, white and the neutral that looks super yeah. classy yes. Yes. and this is it has black and white mm -hmm. it has the animal theme you're saying and there's even like a plant mm. yeah. a couple plants too exactly. i love that scheme though so uh, and then you'll find out like when you want mostly to use an animal print yeah, mm -hmm. you have to go for the wall colors you have to go with solid colors okay more of a monochromatic yeah. uh, kind of yeah. kind of theme yeah mm -hmm. so that will be able to make the room uh like less busy it almost feels like white walls are like making a comeback like we're moving away from you know that soft white mm -hmm. that's g eggshell soft I don't know weight and the exactly. ball that when people went for the green yeah the, the green yellow. and the yellow walls mm -hmm. and the orange that it was seems called like the, the creative or the bold yeah the bold indulge more people are now mm -hmm. going back to just yeah i think people are clean. tired Mm. Yeah. yeah, sophisticated. Mm. Sophisticated, more cultural kind vintage, of feeling. Right. Vintage. Shiny metals. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, gold. And with that imagery, so I mean, black and white, we can almost tend to think like the black gets overpowering, but it's it's how you do it, um, right? It's like in little touches, I guess, with everything. Yeah, yeah it's like a little touch. But again, you'll find that uh, most people, like in 2019, most designers, uh, the trend is going to be like, on the walls, mm -hmm. you'll find like people are more like bold to use black. Yeah. Like on the walls with the, say for example, in the kitchen, in the bathrooms, mm -hmm. with the tiles, with the marbles, mm -hmm. you'll find that people are gonna be using more of black. Mm -hmm. But again, it will come down to the designer. After the marble, what else? What do you break it with? Yeah. What do you get to, because that will have like a hard feeling, yeah? Right. So w what are you going to do to soften that feeling? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Very interesting. And um, in just a bit, we're going to have to take a short break, but I'll be back with these two from Flip Designs thereafter. As we continue talking about um, our homes and how to just, you know, up our trends for 2020 and even maybe they have even more tips of what to avoid in this new year. This and so much more coming up next on Full Circle with Joyce. Stay tuned.
All right, guys. So welcome back to Full Circle with Joyce. I'm here with my guests from Flip Designs. I have Mbonge and Grace. And we're talking about how to make 2020 decor trends um, livable in your space. Are there certain things that you think are sort of coming into fashion or are trends right now as far as home decor that you would advise us to just like keep off, don't even try it? Because sometimes there were things that, you know, you're just like, I Okay, Atakama ni creativity ama design. Is there anything that pops into your mind? Yeah, I think the art piece, mm. the Maasai. Uh, we, we, we really try to embrace our culture, but sometimes we forget to live in our culture. Okay. Someone represents the Maasai and the suckling mother that, I don't know, but does it bring a good mood to your house okay. with such a piece? Uh. I I, th I think people need to ask themselves that question. Okay. Does that piece of art bring peace to your heart? Feel a good feeling? You must have seen mm. that image so many times. You just seem you like you're so yes. tired of it. <laughs> I, in every house, and you're like, you sure you're not tired of this? Yeah. You, you need a huge. I think 2020 we need huge pieces. Yeah. Abstract. Let's talk Huge about color. that because if you find yeah. a lot of houses, they'll have this humongous wall and then the piece of art is like this big, yes. <laughs> right? Like mm. maybe people just, yeah. part of the 2020 challenge then would be to just step mm -hmm. out and be a bit more bold yeah. about the sort of pieces, like go big. Yeah. Yes. Right? All right. Like actually, uh, you know, like, like the way we talked last time, most houses in Nairobi, the spaces are small. Let's be honest. We have minimal space to work mm -hmm. with. Mm -hmm. So when you put, a small piece uh, in a wall that's not that big. It does not help at all. Mm -hmm. Actually, you'd rather do without. I'd rather have you paint another color to have it as a, uh, that is as a feature wall. Mm. Mm. But if you want an art piece uh, to work for you and uh, to actually bring a, a, a good feeling, like she was saying, uh, the Maasai piece, we've seen it in a lot of houses. And actually, when you look at it, uh, it does not evoke that that n good feeling, mm -hmm. a happy mood. Mm -hmm. So go for something, go for an art, art piece that you know, it gives you happiness. Mm -hmm. And when you do it in a, like, in a large format of it, first things first, it makes the, the room look a bit bigger. Because mm -hmm. now when somebody concentrate on that art piece, it does not, the, the rest of the walls do not matter. Yeah. Yeah, so it makes, actually, it makes the mind uh, uh, look at it, at the room, uh, like a little bit bigger. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, let's. You wanted to add something to that? Grace? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, right now, there are so many artists that you can really talk to to give them your emotions and they paint your emotions. Mm -hmm. You just need to tell them, I want a happy home, I want this here to feel this way, to relax. And they write down those emotions and they paint a huge piece. Okay, and the moment you put it in your house, you'll feel at home. All right, yeah. um. So let's talk then about how to even theme our different rooms. I think for most, for the most part, when we think about themes, like we just think it's the yellow room <laughs> or the hot pink, you know, those room yeah. colors you guys yeah, have yeah, been yeah, talking yeah. about. Um, but you could do it with other things, especially now that you're saying nature is going to be a big feature this year. It's reminding me of a very close friend abroad. Their home is very beautiful and their living room is sort of themed around elephants. Mm -hmm. So oh. they have like an elephant art piece on the wall they have all these little like miniature elephants you know just things like there's different ways to actually style a home yeah. without it just being about like put a bold color on the wall sure thing sure mm -hmm. thing like we were talking about uh, the animal prints yeah uh, you can decide you can decide to concentrate uh, your animal prints on one on one thing either you can go with the rug or you can go with the furniture. Mm -hmm. Now, when you do the rug, you can do a big piece, like animal print piece on the rugs, yeah? Mm -hmm. uh, or else, if you're doing the seats, you can do, uh, like, say, the back of the seat mm -hmm. with a big animal, pr uh, animal print. Say, for example, uh, a zebra, or you go for a giraffe print. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think those colors, they, they really get you out of the norm of the colors that you've been, because actually the most of the homes I walk into, their living rooms, sincerely, they're either yellow, <laughs> yeah, uh, again. Cream, cream. that's cream yellow again. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so it's it's more of m let's move from the tradition. Let's actually have something interesting. Right. And nature, that's why we're saying like this year is a year of nature. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's embrace nature 
and seriously it will make a, dif a big difference even in your emotions right yeah. for those who the, the, the truth is design can it can it can also budget mm. mm -hmm. really? <laughs> right because there's always mm -hmm. something new or yeah. something funky to add yeah. and so for those who maybe don't have as big of a budget but still want to refresh their homes for 2020 what tips would you give them and even those who have kids so it's not like they can go and splurge in you know, breakable, really fancy, delicate mm -hmm. items. Yeah. Their sofa sets are gonna be the brown ones just mm -hmm. because, you know, they have to be mindful of the kids. What sort of tips would you give when someone has these sorts of restrictions in their lives? All right, for me, first of all, uh, I'd go with the wallpapers. Okay. Like uh, the marble, we've had the marble around for quite some time, yeah? And uh, right now, marble is gonna come in all kind of decor things, yeah? starting from the wallpaper to fabrics, mm -hmm. yeah? So I would go with a marble kind of feel on the wall, yeah? And that you can be able to do with a wallpaper, which uh, it's relatively uh, affordable. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah. uh, in Nairobi right now, with about uh, 1,500 to 2,000, you can get a roll of wallpaper, okay. which will cover approximately about uh, five square meters. Okay. Yeah. All right, Grace. Yeah. So I'll give a tip on the colors that someone will want to choose mm -hmm. and a whole deco for the house on low budget. Mm -hmm. So you just need to do, to get two colors, let's say like green. We want to work with green this year and a lot of green and a lot of green. Mm -hmm. So you just need to do a white and a green. And when we say green, we don't mean luminous neon. green. <laughs> Not neon green, because mm -hmm. I think we are trying to cut that trend now. Yeah, yeah. So we need to go for the mint green, you know, the dark okay. green. All you need to do is every green you add a white to it, it gives you a different shade of green. So with white and three shades of green, mm -hmm. then you're good to go. You, when you're going to shop for anything in your house, mm -hmm. you'll be t if it's a vase, the normal vase on the, on the roads, mm -hmm. you get a green one. The next time you get a green but a different green. Okay. That way you'll achieve a good feeling in your home and you'll not go spend a lot of money trying to get the huge vases. Right. Yeah. Right. Okay. So it's even like there's things in our homes that we could even refresh. Mm -hmm. Maybe a nice coat of paint can, you know, make something old look a bit more new. If someone can't necessarily go out and buy something, sure. are there things that they could even just try and work around with what they have in their house? Sure thing. Mm -hmm. Sure thing. Like uh, most of, uh, s say for example, the the TV stands that we have around in yeah. our homes, yeah? It's a... Uh, it's a normal unit. Mm. It's a... Uh, <laughs> It's something that Nairobians actually have embraced. Like uh, every every single house you go into, they have that particular uh, TV TV stand. Yeah, mm -hmm. so uh, most of them they come uh, they come in say white, because I've seen most of them in white. So with that kind of uh, uh, with the kind of theme that we have right now, you can be able to decide. Let me change the color. Mm -hmm. It's something that you can be able to do yourself. You go get uh, uh, wood paint. You can be able to do it yourself, actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, at the end of it all, when you when you take it back to the same place, mm -hmm. the same same place, you place the same same things you had on top. Yeah, it will make the place look completely different. All right, just small touches. Okay. Yeah. Speaking of small touches, let's talk about. Uh, a bit about accessories. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Those are also very important in helping to just kind of pull a space together. And I feel like that's where you can also play with these accent colors, mm -hmm. right? So maybe you won't have like, you know, I don't know, a red on your wall, but you could have an accessory that has red and if it ties in your room together, that would be a way to go. Sure thing. Maybe Grace, you can shed some light on those. For the accessories? I think I'm, I'm more of an artist, so I, I always advocate for more art, more art to accessorize your home or figurines or the sculptures mm -hmm. and the vases. But there's a new trend for accessories where you can have metallic sculptures on your wall. It's like a painting, but it is metallic. So it's like a 2D. Mm -hmm. You can call it 2D or 3D, mm -hmm. but it's just like a wire that is coiled to form a shape That's onto your cool. wall. Yes. Does it look nice? It does. If you want an elephant, you don't need to go g get a painting of an elephant. You just need to go to the the fabricators that, mm -hmm. then they make for you a shape of an elephant. A wire, just a very thin wire. Then you okay. place it on a white wall. You can imagine the contrast and the so come of it. Mm -hmm. So going with those, the meshy, it's, it's more of a meshy touch to okay. a house. Okay. Meshy type. Okay. Even on the windows, 
Yeah. Okay. Mm. So there's different things that people could do. And again, that would go with the themes, mm -hmm. right? So yeah, sure. doing an African theme doesn't have to be the painting of the mom with the suckling baby with the <laughs> flies on the face. Please. It could be these <laughs> sculptures, as yes. you're saying, for mm -hmm. example, right? Go to Maasai Market, pick up a couple of those drums. For example, a friend of mine was saying that their kid is learning to play drums. And instead of buying a drum set, they bought African drums. Yes. I thought that was so cool. It is cool. Yeah, so mm. there's different things that one could do. Um, very, very interesting. I'm also hearing that the 60s and 70s uh, seem to be coming back. Maybe you guys can touch on what the style of the 60s and 70s was. Yeah, okay. Now, uh, like in the 60s and the 70s, most of the people who, uh, let's say, not the 90s baby, let's say a bit of 80s baby, 70s babies, they, they can relate it to the disco. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And again, uh, the kind of style that was there, the shapes were more uh, of blend, all right? What I mean is that uh, the, this, uh, like the furnitures, they were more of oval. Mm -hmm. The edges, they were not like uh, sharp edges. Sharp, yeah, 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 that kind of style is, uh, is back, it's totally back right now. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, so yeah. it doesn't have to be, maybe if you are looking for a new table, it doesn't have to be, Rectangular, like no. you yes. could try a round mm -hmm. table mm -hmm. if it fits your space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. And actually, uh, like uh, right now, with the current theme, uh, most of the furniture that are being made, they are being made of uh, recyclable material. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we're looking at bamboo is back in the in uh, in is being used again right mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, also we we have the, like the seagrass being used again. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I think right now. Uh, the theme has really inspired a lot mm. yeah, yeah, with the nature. Okay. Yeah. And as we get ready to wrap up, let's talk about office spaces because perhaps someone also wants to, it could even be a home office or someone wants to kind of demarcate mm -hmm. like this is the place I'm going to be working. Mm -hmm. And so my house may be big, bright and, you know, bold, but this is my office space and I really want it to be a place where I can really dig deep into my work. What sort of tips would you have for 2020 styling of the office space? Well, I think when we're trying to go healthy, 2020, I'm so sure everyone is go pro, I'm going to get healthy. So I think for offices, I think most people don't consider this, but do you know if you place the, the, call the dumbbells and all those work out as deco? I know. Yes. You're trying to motivate someone to work out. I'm imagining someone is working in an office and then you find the dumbbell somewhere. You are motivated, you are pushed to try and lift. Okay. And then you, you realize... Oh, I can do this. So you use your dumbbells both as deco and motivation. Yes. Yeah, how you place them, where you place them, as long as they blend with the color scheme of the office, because most of the offices are chrome, mm -hmm. silver, and some wooden that is, what is the name? I'm forgetting the name. It's okay. The, those wooden, so you can also, they can be painted to look like wood. Okay. The dumbbells. So with that, you promote the culture of healthy, and at the same time, you're accessorizing. Another thing is the glass the glass filling. Mm -hmm. When you do the partitioning with the, with the glass, it makes it look like a huge space. At the same time, there's the relation of the office members. Right. As much as we are separate offices, yeah. then we feel like we are in like one big family. Right. And for those who then work at home, and maybe they have like a small room that they can use as an office, yeah. it sounds like you should probably keep the color quite muted then. Yes. That's not the place where you should be seeing that luminous green. Mm -hmm. No. Yeah. It should be the marble and the whites. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. And also it, is, it should not be like a, an enclosed space. Okay. Because right now you get like, uh, with most of the jobs right now, people are flexible. You can go work at home. Mm -hmm. So when you have uh, an enclosed room, you'll have to to find it more like uh, stressing and all right. that. Yeah, so you can just break uh, your, 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 that is your rooms, let's say for example with the miniature bamboo. Okay. Yeah, and that will also bring the natural feel back. All right. Yeah. Well, hopefully you guys have learned something here then as far as how to style your home space. And uh, just looking at some of the 2020 deco trends, uh, it sounds like it's going to be a good year for style and design. At least yeah. it seems like it's things that a lot of people will be able to embrace because, you know, mm -hmm. nobody hates nature. It's going to be an awesome <laughs> one. All right. Yeah. Well, thank you both for coming. Again, I've been talking to Grace Wavinia and Mbonge Batata from Flip Designs. And now we're going to take a short break as I bring on my next guest here to talk to us about 
about how to stay safe and what are the, some of the safety tips and life-saving items that you need to have in a home emergency kit. Stay tuned. This is Full Circle with Joyce.